This lecture you will map or reference a method implementation to a functional interfaces method using the double colon operator. When you worked with lambda expressions, you have expressed the runnable interface using a lambda expression as follows. In this lecture, you will do it using method mapping instead of lambda expressions. Right click, create a new class, call it method ref demo with a main method com.bharat.java8.method.ref is the package. Finish. Start by implementing a method which is static. We are going to map a method to the runnables run method. So public static void. You can call this method whatever you want. Let's say my method without any parameters. The rule is that the argument types should match. If there are no arguments to the run method on runnable, we shouldn't pass any arguments to this method as well. Inside it, add the logic for int i is equal to 0, i is less than or equal to 10, i plus plus, sys out child thread. We are going to map this method to the run method in the main method. Go to the main method, runnable r is equal to since this is a static method to map this static method to the run method in runnable we'll use the class name which is method ref demo double colon the method name which is my method so you have successfully used the double colon operator to map your own method to the functional interfaces method instead of using lambda expressions thread t is equal to new thread pass in r to it the runnable interface t dot start add some code to the main thread as well for int i is equal to 0 i is less than or equal to 10 i plus plus sys out within double quotes parent thread run the program and i'll explain you the code one more time run as java application and it prints both the parent thread as well as the child thread. So in this lecture, you have started by implementing a static method in your class. You have then mapped that static method to a functional interfaces method using the double colon operator and the class name because it is static. I will show you how to map instance methods in the next lecture and once you map it, you will invoke and use everything else as you have been doing earlier. So instead of repeating the code everywhere we need this implementation, we can put it inside a method and then reuse it across our application simply by using the double colon operator.